when miracles still happen, there was a magic spell which opened the gateway to the enchanted land of Simsala, the place where all the fairy tale characters really lived. Doc Croc, scholar, philosopher, virtuoso, etc., etc. And I am Yo Yo, greatest adventurer since, well, ever. I'm Little Mook. I'm sure you can guess where the little came from. I'm named after my father, Big Mook. He died just a couple of weeks ago. The only thing he left me are these clothes. And now you have no home? Exactly right. But I'm sure that all will be provided for. As long as fruits grow on trees, I can get by. And eventually, I'll make my place in the world. Look at this. A ripe, juicy fig. There for the plucking. Ah. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> He makes it sound easy, doesn't he? That's because it is. Now look, here's a pond. All the water we could drink. <laughs> What's so funny? Look! Look at yourself in the water. And you too, little mook. <laughs> you should see yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's some kind of magic. Let me see. First everything is normal, and then we sprout long ears and a long nose. Now what changed in the meantime? It's the figs! Don't! You don't know what it's going to do! All in the spruce of scientific exploration. Ooh. What did I tell you? A simple matter of deduction. If the fig tree on this side made us grow big noses and ears, perhaps the ones on the other side would have the opposite result. You're too clever, Doc. They don't call me Doc Croc for nothing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not all they call you, Mr. Smarty Pants. Shall we move on? I know of a city nearby where I want to try my luck at finding a job. Whoa! Hold up there. What's this about a job? M's will work for pay. Willing to do anything for a few coins. Or just give us some money. Yo-yo. Worth a try, isn't it? No price too low. No job too big. I mean, seriously, does that sound like fun to you? No job to uh, something. No something uh, to something. Oh, can we switch to plan B now? Oh, whatever. <laughs> if you have some freebies to dole out, now's the time. Yeah, I'm sure that'll really... Come and get it. Come in, everyone. All you can eat, all you can drink. Come on, all of you. All you can eat, all you can drink. Wow, this is the kind of welcome I could get used to. Uh, something tells me this welcome wasn't intended for you. This may be a sign. Perhaps we'll be provided for. Huh? You can have all the food and drink you want, of course, if you like cat food and milk. Thank you, but, uh, no thank you. 
Thanks again for the offer. Come to think of it, I do need someone to mind my cats while I run my errands. I'd be willing to pay you for it. Yes! I found a job! Maybe he's found a job, but we've just landed ourselves in another mess. I need to go to the market, so I leave you in charge for the next few hours. Now, little Mook, can I trust that the house will be in one piece when I return? The three of us to mind these cats? What can possibly go wrong? Why is it that what can possibly go wrong is always followed by complete and utter disaster? Yes, people really should stop saying that. I dare say Madame Azavi will not take kindly to this little mishap. Oh, and I bet you she won't think of it as a little mishap either. And here she comes now. We'll just have to tell her what happened. The cats went crazy, and, uh... Well, that's just great. We are so dead. Wait, we could hide. We could run away. Great idea. <gasps> Deary me, what happened here? <gasps> She's getting closer. Ha! Ah. What are you doing? I just want to try these on. I could do with a pair of shoes that actually fit me. She's right outside the door. What on earth happened? You see, what happened was this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Huh? Little Mook is in for some interesting times. <laughs> what just happened? These appear to be some species of magic slipper, perhaps related to Seven League Boots. Wow, they are so cool! I can't believe my luck. What does this do? That remains a mystery at this point. You know, we should return them to Madame Azavi. Return them? Right now? But what if this is just the good fortune I need? What if I'm supposed to make my good fortune with them? Um, huh? Okay. What if I return them soon? Mm. <laughs> and in the meantime, Make some money to compensate Madame Azavi for all the damage to her house. Aha! Uh -huh. That sounds like a good idea. And I've already thought of a job I can do. Your Highness, there is someone at the gate who wishes to apply for the job of Royal Messenger. Royal Messenger? Haven't we already got one? I think you'd better see this one, Your Highness. Your Highness, behold the great little Mook. He may not look it, but... Give him a message to deliver, and by the time you finish your sentence, you've already got your response. <laughs> okay. Tell the King of Boxenburg we must have him over for dinner sometime. And... He must have gotten lost. Say what? The Kingdom of Boxenburg is a three days journey from... The King of Boxenburg will be happy to join you in three days. Oh, yes. Well, how do I know you didn't just run around the corner and make this up? 
The king also specifically requested the same appetizer as last time. Goat's cheese in aspic. <gasps> and asked me to remind you that his daughter is particularly fond of garlic. Her least attractive feature, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> as for you, great little mook, I'm impressed. I wish to employ you as royal messenger. <laughs> This is my royal taster, who tastes every dish prepared for me. He's very thorough. Sometimes he has to try them two or even three <laughs> times, to be sure. And this is my royal treasurer, who has stuck with me through thick and thin. <laughs> or should I say, from thick to thinner. <laughs> <laughs> You see, this is our royal treasury, and that pile over there is our royal treasure. Once upon a time, this entire hall was filled to the top with gold, until we fell on inexplicable hard times. What happened? Did somebody steal the rest of the treasure? <gasps> steal it? <laughs> Impossible! I have guards all around the palace, and the only people who have the key are me, and the treasurer. Well, I'm afraid it's just some kind of mysterious bad luck that has befallen us. <laughs> but that has never fazed my dear treasurer, who has stood loyally by my side through it all. Isn't that right? Absolutely, Your Highness. I look after your money as if it were my very own. Not that there isn't hope, mind. A long time ago, when my father was king, our land was invaded by evil hordes. And he hid all the gold in the kingdom in a secret location. It was his wish that the gold belonged to any citizen in the kingdom who vowed to use it with good intentions. And boy, do we need it. Of course, we've been looking for it ever since. And when we find it, the kingdom will flourish again. I know I shouldn't have anything to complain about, but I get the feeling the people at court don't like me very much. That's probably just because you're the new kid on the block. Still, I... It's trying to tell us something. Oh. Maybe we should start digging. I love these magic... thingies. This is more gold than I ever thought existed. And I know exactly what to do with it. Uh, actually, uh, <laughs> I said actually. Uh, <laughs> hey, well, wait up, guys! <laughs> Why are you giving all the gold away to the members of the court? Because I want them all to like me. You know, you can't buy friends just like that, and not just that. You realize, of course, that this is the gold that was buried long ago by the father of the king. Oh, so what does that mean? The father of the king did want the gold to be used for good intentions. So this is the right thing to do, I think. Of course. And I never meant to just run away and leave Madame Azavi with all that damage. Oh, she's coming! <laughs> <laughs> Little Mook, I always knew his heart was in the right place. The King wants to see you, Little Mook, without delay. Without delay is my speciality. Your Majesty. Oh. Hey! The Treasurer informs me that you're spending like there's no tomorrow. While, of course, money has been going missing from the Treasury. Wait a minute. 
That list goes back years. Mokoni came here two days ago. Your Majesty, with that lightning speed of his, anything is possible. Anything. But, but that's not it at all. You see, I found the gold. This gold that you found, is it the gold my father left behind? That's exactly it. I'll show you. <laughs> right here, Your Majesty. This is where I found it. You found the gold in my royal gardens? And, of course, anything found in your royal gardens belongs to the royal you, Your Highness. But I... It... Which makes your royal messenger nothing short of a royal thief. Huh? Nobody steals the king's gold and gets away with it. Guards? Huh? This is so unfair. We'll get you out of here. First, we're off on a little spying mission. There's something fishy about that treasure. Look, Yo-Yo. That's the gold we found in the garden. Gold is the finest substance known to man. How can I ever get enough of it? And how can I keep it under wraps? <laughs> I'm running out of room. What's she got in there? <clears throat> He's stealing everything. Even the treasure left behind by the king's father. We have to tell someone. We have to... <gasps> Guards! Yikes! <gasps> <laughs> Little Mook, you'll never guess what we found out. Little Mook? Where did he go? <laughs> How did you? I ran right by the guard when he opened the door. I was so fast, he never even saw me. Quiet, he's coming back. Hold on tight. The treasurer lied and had you thrown in the dungeon just so he could keep all the gold for himself. And cover up that he had been stealing gold from the king all along. Oh, now he's getting away with it and the king has fallen for it. Isn't there something we can do? Of course there is. This calls for a cunning plan, hey, Doc? Hmm. Yo-Yo, I think you're about to witness the cunningest plan ever. Now make sure we keep the figs separated. This is the bad one. Mm -hmm. And this one's the antidote. Uh, Professor Eltilkum is here to see you, Your Highness. He wishes to apply for the position of Royal Trickster. Yes, you heard that right. Royal Trickster? I wasn't aware we had such a position. Show him in. Certainly, Your Highness. Huh? Professor Eltilkum is my name, and trickiness is my game. Don't let me keep you from your meal while I explain <laughs> the advantages of having your very own royal trickster at your disposal at any time. Uh -huh. Every royal court already has its share of royal <laughs> trickery, of course. What a royal trickster does is... Are you feeling all right, sir? Great tiddlywinks! What's happened to you? <laughs> a perfect example, Your Highness. This man has fallen afoul of some trickery, and I can help him out. Say, with this piece of paper. Hmm. To find the urgent cure you seek, walk down the hall and find the Greek. Oh, 
A treasure hunt of sorts? Is that it? Precisely, Your Majesty. A treasure hunt is more like it. The Greek. The Greek. Aristotle. Gotcha. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. The cure you seek is just a fig. Under the black rose, you must dig. This is fun, isn't it? Yes. I don't know why I don't dig holes more often. Go on. What's the next clue? We're getting close. No time for gloom. The antidote is in your room. <gasps> Come on, then. Off to your chambers we go. Perhaps we could uh, play this delightful game some other time. Not on your life. I can't bear the suspense. You sure have a lot of treasure stashed away in here. A uh, lucky bat or two. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at this note and then get out of here. <laughs> the cure you seek can now be found in something hollow, blue and round. That's easy. It might as well say, look in the... Ah, but what if it's not the vase? It uh, could be something else entirely. Well, let's at least look and then we'll know. Would you like to look, treasurer? No, really, it's not necessary. I mean, why? It could be somewhere else, couldn't it? I mean, I can look for it later. There's really no hurry. And uh, besides, I've gotten used to this look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just too silly. You even took the gold my father had hidden away, and then you kept it a secret from me. God, throw this man into the dungeon and throw away the key. Your worshipfulness. One more thing. Might I still have that uh, fig? In your dreams, fool. <laughs> and you're hired. Looks like a royal trickster is a cool thing to have indeed. Can't you see that it is I, little Mook? This was the only way I could expose that vile traitor. You are a trickster indeed, little Mook. And I have misjudged you. I was taken in by that fiend's trickery. Let me make it up to you. Name it, and it's yours. If it's all the same to you, your highness, I quite enjoyed being your royal messenger. That is quite enough for me. And of course the gold. The gold should go back to your subjects. They need it as much as you. If there's one good thing my treasurer has ever done for me, it's to show me where greed will lead. Yes, you are right. It will be done. Did I forget to mention that the king and princess of Boxenburg have arrived? I'd forgotten all about them. Has it been three days already? Mwah. The Princess of Boxenburg. So pleased to have you. King Neza uh, Jr. Still fond of the garlic, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for everything, Yo-Yo and Doc. It couldn't have turned out better. Not just for me, but for the whole kingdom. We're so glad that it all worked out for you. And uh, now I feel like catching some fresh air. Shall we? Simsa! Simsa! Simsa the Grim! <laughs> Thank you.
And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>